Hello and welcome to Bruce Springsteen Guitar Lessons. Today's lesson is going to be Darlington County from Born in the USA. Thanks very much to subscribe star Leo Jacobs for the request. <laughs>
below and welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that walkthrough. So now what we're gonna do is go through all the individual parts. Okay, so this song kind of switches between G major and C major. Uh, and the tempo is roughly about 115 BPM, give or take. Uh, so what we'll do first, we'll go through the chords, okay? So we've got these kind of like uh, broken chords. So this one here, which is like a G major triad on the 12th fret. The D, the G and the B string, so you just buy with using your first finger there. Uh, and then what you also got is basically um, a kind of a C, C triad. These are very Rolling Stones type uh, chords here. So if you're into the Stones, which I am, uh, very common chords that the Rolling Stones use a lot and they just sound really cool for rock stuff. So um, basically this kind of, uh, call it a slash chord. Nothing to do with the guitar slash. It basically means that there's a, you've got a chord, like this one here is technically called G over D, but we're just gonna call it a G. So the song structure, which I'll put up on the screen now, I will just refer to the main chords. So not the, you're not always gonna be starting from the root note. So this one here, technically a G over D, we're just gonna call it a G. Then uh, this is technically called a C over E. We're just gonna call it a C in the song structure. Don't forget all the song structures will be in the description. Uh, any chords in brackets means there's more than one uh, chord uh, in that particular bar. So hopefully it'd be good to kind of piece everything together. Uh, and learn it really effectively. So if you just take that that original kind of G triad there, then add your middle finger, 13th fret B, third finger, 14th fret D. That gives you that kind of C over E triad. It's gonna to refer to that as a C. Cool. Uh, and then we've also got a C over G triad, which is the same shape. So that's our basically gonna be our C, kind of C chord down here. Uh, and then you're gonna do the same thing, put your middle finger, Give your first finger there, middle finger, uh, sixth fret B, third finger, seventh fret D. And this one is our F over A uh, triad, we're going to call that an F, okay? So you've basically got G, C, G, and then C, F, C. And that's the bulk of the chords there, okay? Uh, and then we've also got a D major chord, just standard bar chord, bar from the fifth fret with your first finger, then use your third finger to bar the, uh, the seventh fret and the D, G and B strings. Go down two frets, you've got a C major bar chord there. Uh, and then we've also got a G chord, um, and barring all six strings there. Then third finger, fifth fret A, little finger, fifth fret D, middle finger, fourth fret G. And also I think in the third verse, it's a, a kind of a little bit more broken where you're just kind of playing three or four strings. He does mess around with it quite a lot, I think. Uh, so it's basically the same chord, but I'll be playing, playing the first three or four strings there. Uh, in the fourth verse, when the whole kind of, apart from Max on the drums, it's pretty much just Bruce with power chords in the fourth verse. So that sounds really, I love that verse. Um, so yeah, this is just G5 power chord. First finger, third fret, low E. Third finger, fifth fret, A. Little finger, um, fifth fret on the D string. Okay, so that's a G5 power chord. Block the B, E and high E. So only playing on three strings there. Cross over to the next set of strings. Make sure you block, block the low E string. I use it with my first finger, touching the string, that string there. The same thing. One, three, four in terms of fingers, and, and three, five, five in terms of frets there. So that's called C5. So not too many chords here. So let's take a look at those awesome intro riffs. Just really kind of classic rock, just sounds fantastic. So you come in on beat two, you've got the cowbell kicking everything off uh, on beat one, so it's one. Then what you're gonna do, use your third finger to, uh, this is a grace note slide, so it's a split second slide, one, Two and three, four and. I do most of these um, intro riffs with a downstroke. Just get a bit more oomph to it. Okay, so one, two and three, four and. Okay, so I'm sliding 12 to 14 on the A, uh, barring the 12th fret. So this is the kind of G triad. Uh, so one, two and three. That's a dotted, dotted quarter note. And at the end of the bar, 14th fret A string. So one, Two and three, four and. Then 12, that G triad again. One and. Then 14th for A string again. Then you've got to hammer on. So you use this 
uh, G triad, but hammer on using your middle finger and third finger. It's quite a weird technique because you're hammering on two fingers at the same time. But if you, again, very kind of common classic rock Rolling Stones type riff, sounds amazing. So you're hitting those three, hammering on straight away with your middle finger to, to the kind of C triad. So middle finger 13th fret B, third finger 14th fret D. So timing wise, you've got this one and two and three. So it's tied for half a beat and then 12th fret G. Okay, and then bar three, one, comes on a beat, beat two, one, two and three, same as the first bar riff. But this time at the end of the bar, you're gonna go four and. So straight away slide 14, 12 with your third finger, then first finger 10th fret A. The bar three again, one, two, and three, four, and. And then you're gonna do uh, 12, 10 on the A, 12 on the E, 10, 10, and, 10 A and 10 uh, D at the same time. Then it's high for half a beat. Then hit it again. And then you've got um, a 16th note, 40 and, 40 and, or 40 and. Hammer on 10, 12 on the E. Uh, and then hit that 10th fret A, 10th fret D again. So, um, and then the next bar, bar five, you're gonna do that 10, 10 again. One, two, and three, four, and. Okay, and now bar six is the bar, same as bar two, this bar. And then an extra uh, G tried at the end. One, and two, and three, and four, and. Okay, and they're gonna slide next bar, we're in bar seven now. One and. Slide 14 to 12 on the A, and then 10 on the A, and then 12, 14, A. So slide back, so sliding back, to, sliding down, picking the 10th fret, sliding back up from the 12th fret, and then 12, 12, 12, 12. Okay, and then uh, the final bar before the whole of the band comes in, one and two and three and four and just really awesome riff this is so 14 slide down 14 to 12 on the a 10 on the a 12 e 10 10 again on the a and the d slide 12 to 14 grace note slide so again you're not really counting in terms of counting it i'm going one so i'm not counting that grace note one and two and three and then 12 fret D, G, and B string. And then slide back down, 14, 12. Okay, so I just play those first eight bars before the whole of the band comes in. So you go one, two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three. Cool. and then it kind of goes to the, let's call that the G and C section, because it's going to go back and forth between G and C. Now this is the C and F kind of section. Um, okay, so this is from bar nine. Okay, it's the same kind of riff, but using C and F rather than G and C, okay? So you've got this one, two, and three, four, and. So in beat two, Slide from five to seven, one, two, and then five, five, three, four, and then seven for A. And then you've got one and two and three and. Okay, so this is um, bar 10 now. Two of these C triads, seven for A. Hammer on, five to seven to the, from the C to the F. Then five, five, five. And then bar um, 11 now, one. Two and three, four and. So do that slide again, five to seven. Five, five chord. Seven, slide down to five. And third fret A. One, two and three, four and. Again, very pentatonic based riffs here. You know your major pentatonics here. So five, 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 three on the A, five on the E, and three on the A. So this is bar 12. One and two and three. It sounds like there's two C5s. I'm doing these upstrokes. Three and four. 
this is bar 12 again. One and two and three and four. Okay, uh, so I'll just play you those kind of um, the bars nine to 12 of the um, intro. So one, two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Okay, and then the final bar, four bars of the intro. So I'm gonna go back up to the G, C, and G section. So one, two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four. So these two bars are the same two bars as you had in bars one and two. So one, two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. And then uh, the um, penultimate bar, the intro, one, and two, and three, four, and. So 10, 10, 12, 14 on the A, 12, 12 chord, then 14, 12, one, Two and three, four and 12, 10 A, 12 E, 10 A, and then another 10 A. So play those last four bars of the intro. One, two and three, four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three, four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Cool, so then we've got the, the first uh, verse, okay? And again, there's a lot of instruments. You've got organ, piano, uh, that actually the guitar, for the, especially for the verses, is quite low down in the mix, I think. So it's very uh, kind of organ, bass, um, keys heavy, I think. So, so what we're going to do here, this is kind of our main kind of verse G bar, so we say. So it's going to go one, two, and three, four, and. So yeah, 12th fret. The challenge here would be to block out the E, the A, and the high E strings here. So timing wise, or strumming wise, down, up, down, up. So you're gonna go one, two, and three, four, and. Okay, and now this is bar two, the first verse. You're gonna go down, up, down. Then gonna go to the C chord, up. Tie for half a beat, and then go back to the G. Rest, and then an upstroke. So this is bar two, the first verse. One, and two, and three, and Okay, and then you're going to do that um, at bar one. It's done again in bar three. And then you're going to do this. Down, up, down, up, up. Okay, the C chord here. One and two. Down, up, down, and then the G chord, upstroke, let it ring. And again. And then you're going to do a slide, 14 to 12. And then 10th fret on the A string. I don't think this happens in the second verse. Just in the first verse, you've got a few extra riffs. One and two and three and four and. And start in bar five with that 10th fret. Then go back into that kind of up, down, that bit. One, two and three, four and. So it's the same as the um, bars one and three. And just the 10th fret at the start. Uh, and now you've got this really cool riff. And so one and two and three and so here you're going to go 14th fret A, 12th fret bar, 14th fret A, and then do the hammer on again, let it tie, and then 12th fret D, G, and B, and then let it tie, and then do another one. You can do it uh, down strokes the whole bar, or do a few up strokes at the end. Doesn't matter too much, as long as it's kind of consistent. Uh, and then we've got that same kind of common bar that we're going to be using quite a lot. Down, up, down, up. Okay, and then the final bar of, well, this is part eight of the first verse. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, so I'll just play um, those um, first eight bars of the first verse. And this kind of style is kind of going to be happening throughout. So and then it kind of changes to the kind of the C and the F sections again. It's going to do the same kind of thing, but just down here. So C, down, up, down, up. And you're going to go down, up, down, up, up, up. 
Again, very similar rhythms to before. So this bar, um, this is now the second line of a first verse, if you think about the song structure there. Down, up, down. Again, this uh, the first C bar there, and then you're going to go down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Let's play that second line of the first verse. Cool, and then we've got we're now in the final line of the first verse. One, two, and three, four, and again, same wrist as we kind of had before. Sounds really cool that bit. So this is um, the final line of the uh, first verse. So that bar we've, we've had all these bars before. Cool. So that's the the first verse, and I think after that the second verse is basically the same structure, just slightly simplified. Okay. So now we've got the bridge sections. So the first and the second bridges are pretty much the same. Uh, what you're going to do is um, a D chord, we're going to go one, two, and three, four, and. So same rhythms you've been doing with the kind of the G and the C triads. Let's do that now with the C, a D chord. One, two, and three, four, and. And now you're going to go one, and two, and three, and four, and. Okay, so strumming wise, uh, this is the, the bridge section. One, two, and three, four, and. One, and two, and three, and four. That's down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up, down, up. You do those two bars twice in both bridges. And C major. So strumming wise here, you're going to go down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, so one uh, quarter note here, then six um, eighth notes or, or quavers. Um, the tie and the start of beat three. So one, two, and three, and four. It's that common, common down, down, up, up, down, up pattern that we've been doing so much. Okay, and then you've got this end of the bridge. One, and two, and three, and four, and. So you've got that end of F triad for tw two strums. The C triad. And just do it again. Cool, so let's play the whole of the first and then the second bridges. Cool, so then basically the chorus section is very similar to ha the kind of um, how the kind of the first line of the, of the first and second uh, verses go. Okay, so it basically goes one, two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, and four. And one, two, and three and four. So those four bars are done twice, okay? So it's pretty much very similar to the verse. Down, up, Cool, so they're on the second verse. Again, very similar structure-wise, chord-wise, exactly the same, but from in that first verse, you had those extra riffs, okay? So second verse, you'd basically be doing exactly the same as you did in, in the, um, the first chorus to start with. So. And then you're on your, your next section, the C, F, and Gs. Again, very similar to the first verse. Okay, and then back to, again to the G, C, uh, G, and C section. And a lot of the challenge of these types of chords is actually what you're not playing. So making sure you're blocking out the E, the A, and then the high E string. Uh, that will be your kind of your main challenge, getting it sounding nice and crisp. Okay, cool. And then we've got the, same, the second chorus, exactly the same as the first chorus. Sorry, uh, after the second verse, you've got the second bridge, which is the same as the first bridge. And you've got the second chorus, and always cross-reference with the song structure, which is the same as the first chorus. 
Cool, and then we've got the, uh, the chords behind the sax solo, okay? Um, okay, so here it basically starts off very similar to what we've done before with the, with the C, F and Gs, a C, F and Cs. Here, this is where he starts to change the kind of the song, the kind of the chord structure and put a G in, okay? Down, up, 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 down. So that's the rhythm for that. One, two, and three, and four, and... Okay, so that, that's um, the, and then what you've got is just two bars of D like you had in the bridge. Cool, so what I'll do is I'll play the whole of those six bars of the sax solo. Cool, okay, so now the third verse, it sounds like he's kind of doing some kind of drone stuff going on there. Uh, and also, feel free to change what I've suggested here in, in the tab. One, two, and three, four, and five, and two, and three, and four. And feel free, you can tell on the record he's kind of just chopping and changing, he's picking quite a lot. So, so in the third verse now, what we've got is basically eight bars of G, but it's kind of a two bar pattern repeated four times, okay? You got this downstroke on the G, but this is where you kind of play just the kind of the bassier notes of the chord. One, two, and then down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, rest, up, down, rest, up, down, up, down, up, rest, up, down, up. Maybe a little bit more picky. Feel free to mix it up as well. So timing wise, one, two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, four, and down, up, 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 what we're, going, what we're doing next, the second half of the third verse. C. And then G. This time, instead of the sax solo, you have three bars of D. We're just going to do the same bars that we've been doing before. Two and three, four and one, and two and three and four. And that other bar again. And then G. Okay, so that's the third verse. Uh, and that kind of second half of the third verse is what you're gonna use in the third chorus and the outro. So those kind of um, one, two, three, four, yeah, those eight bars after those two bars of G four times, that's what the structure of the third chorus and the outro as well. Okay, so the four, fourth verse, which sounds brilliant. This is where it's just Bruce and the drums. And uh, it's just basically playing this G5, the three bars, downstrokes, Eighth notes or quavers, half a beat each. One and two, three, the palm muted. Okay, so a little bit of fleshy part of the hand, dampening down strings. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And then C5, one and two and three and four and. So the C5, you're just playing three strums there. One and two and three and four and. And you do that whole four bars again. Two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. On the second time, I probably would do less palm muting towards the end. So the second time, I would kind of go something like this. Still, so, okay, it's building up, but um, before that, or just to build up the kind of the dynamics there. Cool, and again, what we've got now is that third chorus, um, and the structure for this is the last eight bars of the third verse, which we've done before. So C. Cool, so those eight bars are then done another three times for the outro. So on the on the outro, it kind of does fade out on record. So what I've just done on the backing track that I've made for this, um, had good fun, it's such a great song this one. Very upbeat, 
Um, and the backing track I've made for this that you can hear in the walkthrough. Um, I just ended it on the third round, just going down, up, up, and the G chord. So yes, yeah, so if you need any of the backing tracks or the tabs that you see in the walkthrough in Guitar Pro format or PDF format, don't forget you can get those on the shop at jsmusicschool.co.uk. Just download them directly to your computer. Uh, and also the backing tracks are also on there as well. If you want to get some every month uh, via Subscribestar, head over to subscribestar.com forward slash Bruce Springsteen Guitar and you can check out the different tiers. There's loads of extra videos. So during this breakdown part of every video I've done for the last year and a half, I think, um, you better get extra chord diagrams and, and tabs as well. So if you're in the Bruce Legend tiers, you get the extra, this video but with lots of tabs um, and chord diagrams whilst I'm, I'm demonstrating all the parts. So any questions about that, let me know. As guitar solo videos as well. There'll be about 25 or something like that on there as, uh, since this is recorded. So um, yeah, there's loads of good stuff on there. So thanks very much for watching. Thanks, Leo, for requesting this one. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Any comments, let me know below. Um, it's a great, great song from a great album. Um, I remember seeing this at the Stade de France in its entirety, this album. It was so good. So, yeah, brilliant song, brilliant album. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell icon for notifications. Thanks very much. See you next time. Cheers. Bye. If you'd like to get guitar profiles, tab PDFs, backing tracks from any of these tutorials, head over to either the Subscribestar page or my website, jsmusicschool.co.uk. Remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications. Thanks very much. See you on the next one.